Hello, I'm Patrick with the Gaming Collegian. And I'm Ethan. And this is your weekly roundup. Kicking things off, Blizzard has began work on two new animated series. One is going to be based on their Diablo franchise and will be released as an anime on Netflix. The other is going to follow the events of Overwatch, but not much is known about what streaming services it will be on or how it will be animated. As this information was leaked through the LinkedIn profile of a Blizzard executive, there is limited information available about either series, and both release dates are unknown. Blizzard isn't the only company coming out with adaptations for their games. Gearbox's Borderlands is currently being made into a film with Eli Roth signing on as the director. He will be joining a team of reputable creators, including the likes of Craig Mazin and Gearbox's Randy Pitchford. Classic Randy. Best known for directing horror movies such as Cabin Fever and Aftershock, and for his role in Quentin Tarantino's Inglorious Bastards, Roth in no way shies away from violence and gore, giving us a pretty good idea of the kind of action we can expect in a Borderlands film adaptation. In other news, Nintendo released an Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct presentation on February 20th. The Direct outlined new features that are being implemented and gave us a look at what starting the game will entail. These new features show a promising amount of customization opportunities for the player, who will be able to choose not only their island layout, but also the hemisphere it's located in. Players will also now be able to choose where new villagers' houses are placed and will have the ability to terraform their island, as well as ladders. <laughs> in addition, there will now be a rescue service feature that allows the player to be transported home after getting lost, or lazy. Finally, home designs from both New Leaf and Happy Home Designer will be importable and the player will have the ability to decorate their home from an overhead view. Our final story for today, Cooking Mama Cook Stars trailer leaked earlier this week, giving us insight to the premise of the new title. While Cooking Mama fans are still waiting for her invitation to compete in Smash, they can at least rest easy knowing that she's hard at work as an Instagram foodie? That's right. Cooking Mama Cookstar is not only jam-packed with the mini-games players have come to love, it has a new feature that allows players to snap pictures of finished dishes and decorate them with filters and stickers. The trailer also revealed that the game will be released for the Switch in March of 2020 and will cost $39.99. That is not bad at all. Not at all. Well, thank you for tuning in to this week's Roundup. Be sure to like and subscribe, and leave us your thoughts in the comments section below. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Gaming Collegian. We also have articles written by our staff over at GamingCollegian.org. We'll see you next time.